So if I uh, put my page boy hat on just right, does it look like a beret? Nope, can't take that seriously. So one of the things I've been thinking about this year is that art that bothers me isn't bad. It's really just forgettable art that's bad. But then I always come back to the piece of art that lives rent-free in my head. The Vow by Liz Rada. Rhoda? I looked it up. I, I didn't find anything. It's a yoga mat and Elizabeth Taylor's perfume forever embedded in plaster rock from what I wrote down in 2013. It was for a uh, visual art critique for one of my classes. And that piece was just so profoundly lazy, it bothered me. Maybe, maybe Liz mixed the plaster up herself and put the perfume in. That's the only possible thing that could make it even some effort required, but it's really just so painfully lazy. She bought a yoga mat and put a piece of plaster on it. <laughs> and it was in the museum at my university. Why? Now, maybe lazy art... I'll, I'll, okay, I'll stop short of calling lazy art good. But boy oh boy does it bother me. Or at least that piece in particular. I don't know where I was going with this, but uh, maybe the vow can live rent-free in your head too. And then there's definitely a uh, glass houses throwing stones thing here because I'm making a video about one piece of art that has bothered me for like seven years. Like this video is lazy art. I accept that. But boy, if it isn't just slightly better than a yoga mat with a piece of plaster on it. I don't know, maybe it just bothers me that the artist isn't clearly trying to communicate an idea. I don't want to supply all the meaning to the art by myself. I would like at least some direction. Three elements together like that really don't tell a story. I'm sorry, Liz. That just happens to be how I feel. I'll get off my art critique soapbox now. Mm -hmm.